Hello everybody, here we are on Swift Current Mountain. This is Dave and Shannon with EnjoyYourParks.com and we're on the summit of Swift Current Mountain. It's a beautiful day and I'm just going to give you a tour of this incredible place. Right now, well I'll show you, the, uh, there's a fire lookout up here. That's the actual summit right there. And uh, we came up the loop trail up through Granite Park, Chalet, and then Swift Current Pass, and then up to the uh, summit. We do that to uh, get in shape because it's a lot of vertical. I think it's about 4,000 feet vertical. But here we are on the summit. Let me give you a, a quick tour. Right now you're looking down into the Many Glacier area, including Bullhead Lake, Red Rock Lake, there's a Swift Current Lake down the middle, and the Many Glacier Hotel, and Lake Sherburn, far in the distance. That dominant peak right there is Mount Wilbur. And now you're looking into the Lewis Range, the North Lewis Range. That's Iceberg Peak, that sharp one up into your right. That looks down into Iceberg Lake. This is North Swift Current Glacier below us. And right below us is about a 2,000 foot cliff. It's amazing. You can really see this wall, this straight up and down wall from Mini Glacier, like Mini Glacier Hotel or up to Swift Current Trail. But this is the uh, Northern Lewis Range. A lot of peaks here. Again, that's Iceberg Peak in the upper right. Then you've got Mount Merritt in the dead center of the video right now. And Mount Cleveland, which is the tallest peak in the park, in the dead center right now. Those are the Stony Indian peaks to the right to the left of it. And all along here is the Northern Highline Trail that follows it, follows the Continental Divide all the way up to Goat Hunt. Again, those spires are Stony Indian peaks, and then that's Mount Kipp in the dead center, and Cathedral Peak to the left of Mount Kipp. Directly below those two mountains is the 50 Mountain Campground, the backcountry campground. And between those two peaks in the dead center is the Sioux Lake Overlook, which we always recommend people check out while they're up there. And then now you're looking at the uh, flat top mountain area. Hey Shannon! That's the flat top mountain area. It got burned out quite a few years ago actually now. Time flies. But the Lewis Range meets up with the uh, Livingston Range far to the north by Goat Hunt. That sharp a uh, horn in the center of the photo right now is uh, Kinnerly Peak, and that uh, basically starts all the uh, Livingston Range peaks and glaciers, which includes Kintla Peak, Vulture Peak, Rainbow Peak, so many of them, and a lot of glaciers. You're seeing a few right now. The Livingston Range is one of the most remote ranges in the park, and I'm going to move over now and show you some more. There's actually somebody that stays at the uh, this lookout. Nobody's there right now, but oftentimes when we're up here, somebody's actually living up there through the summer. Wow, what a view. Again, that's the 
northern Lewis Range, and then we're going to switch over to the Livingston Range to the west, northwest. Incredible. And again, that's the flat top area. Flat top. There's a trail that goes up the flat top mountain and meets up at 50 Mountain. If the Ahern Drift is giving hikers trouble, now you're looking at straight west, which is the familiar. There's uh, Longfellow Peak, and here's uh, Heaven's Peak. And then down below Heaven's Peak, far, far down below, is the Grant Park Chalet. That's along the High Line Trail. We took the Swift Current Pass Trail to get up to Swift Current Pass, and then there's a short spur trail that gets us up to the summit. Just beautiful. That valley in between those two large mountains is uh, Lake, the Lake McDonald Creek area, and Lake McDonald Lodge and Lake McDonald itself is down through that valley. Now you're looking at the Logan Pass area. As you can hear, it gets a little windy up here. That's uh, Cannon Mountain and Clements Mountain and uh, Reynolds Mountain and Mount Oberlin and the uh, Logan Pass area itself. You can see Haystack Butte right there. The Highline Trail comes from Logan Pass, which is in the dead center of the video right now. Basically here, the end of the garden wall is, uh, in my mind, when you hit Swift Current Pass, but uh, I guess you could say it goes further. That large ice mass right in the dead center is uh, Blackfoot Glacier. That is Swift Current Glacier, that large mass right there. Above it is Mount Gould, the tallest mountain in the dead center of the video. And along the High Line Trail, of course, there's the uh, Grinnell Glacier Overlook that you can take. It's about a half mile up through uh, up a trail to a notch that shows you uh, Grinnell Glacier, Salamander Glacier, and Gem Glacier. You can actually see Gem Glacier above Swift Current Glacier right now. I'll zoom it in. That's Gem Glacier in the dead center of the video right now. Below that is Swift, uh, Grinnell Glacier and Salamander Glacier that you cannot see from here. Swift Current Pass is below us down there. See part of the trail above Grand Park Chalet. Just so many mountains. The mountain in the dead center right now is Mount Sai. You can just see a little piece of its great north face, the largest wall in, in the lower 48. And that mountain to the upper left is Grinnell Mountain. And I've just got a few more seconds with my video, but I just want to take you back and show you the Many Glacier Valley one more time, which is really the highlight of this incredible view from Swift Current Mountain. only got a few seconds so hope you enjoyed the view folks up on top of the summit of Swift Current Mountain and there's the iconic view right now hope you enjoyed it this is Dave and Shannon with enjoyyourparks.com talk to you soon everybody bye bye